This is going to be nasty. We're going to show you how to drain your sewer and I'm going to show you what to do and what not to do. So I can tell you, this is the best sewer hose I've found. We've been using this for, I don't know, 12 years. These are an accordion. They fold up, they're really thick, and they last a long time in the heat. Havasu's got 125 degree temperature, and these other style, which is like this one right here, these will rot, they get holes in them, cracks, they don't last very long. And we end up throwing them away so if you're gonna be you're gonna spend a little bit more money but this is gonna last you a lot longer notice this clear end so you'll know when your tank is clean when you dump and flush it uh, you're gonna fill it up and flush it again and then you're gonna know that your tank is completely clean before you're done I know it's gross but it's got to be done you want to make sure you don't have any smells we are hooked up we got our sewer we're gonna make sure it's not gonna pop up. Now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna dump our black water, which your bigger pipe is your black water. You're gonna pull that first. We're gonna drain that out. Let that dump. That's all your solids. Once your solids are drained, then you're gonna pull your smaller pipe, which is your gray water. Woo! Now another big trick is you do not want to use your clean, good hose for your sewer. I'm going to hook my water hose up to the faucet, then I'm going to hook the hose that's at the campground up to the end of our good hose, and then we're going to use that to fill our toilet in our campground, in our camper. <laughs> so once we, once we hook that water hose from the campground onto our hose we're then going to put it in the toilet and we're going to fill the water tank for the gray water and the black water and then we're going to re-dump them to flush out our tanks so i've hooked our good water hose up to the faucet and now i'm hooking the campground water hose up to the end so that we can fill our toilet because we want to make sure we get that tank filled back up to clean all the solids off of the sidewall so that your tank doesn't smell when you're all done. First thing we gotta do is we gotta plug up our black and gray water because now they're all drained, but there's still smell and sewage inside. So we need to get those cleaned up. We're at Windsor Beach, by the way. Look at that view. Okay, so now we put our hose inside the toilet and we're going to fill that tank. We're going to turn the water on. All right, this is fun. <laughs> okay, that sewer should be about full. Now, we didn't put any water in the gray tank, but we did in the black. So we need to drain that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to watch our clear end and make sure that it's clear. As you can see, our tank is clean. So we're not done yet. We need to close off our blank black tank. It's very important that you put chemicals in it and put a little bit of water. So another important factor, Dean Mesmer reminded me yesterday, is we, you need to make sure that you do not leave your gray or your black valves open when you're camping because the odors are very harmful and you don't want those odors to go in and cause harm to you or your family. So now all of the fluids have drained out of our black. We're now gonna close it up and we're gonna go inside and we're gonna put one packet of chemicals in there and about a gallon of water. So here we are inside the trailer. 
I might use somebody to help me next time. Where's Bill Draper when you need him? Now we're gonna take our water hose back out, get this outside. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put, I like to use these porta packs. These work great, they work great for the rentals and they work great for us. I don't have to measure anything, I don't have to know what it takes. I just take one of these packets, I drop it right in the toilet bowl, I keep those in there for the renters. So I'm gonna put about a gallon of water in here so there's water with the chemicals that when that drives around, it's gonna slosh around and clean that tank and keep it smelling fresh. Okay, so not done yet. Now we gotta put everything away and clean it all up. So now we're going to put everything away. We gotta clean up our hoses and put it away safely in the trailer. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our water hose and we're gonna make sure we clean our sewer hose. You wanna make sure you rinse it out. And what I usually do is I'll tilt it, get water built up in it, build some water up, clean the hose out, make sure you rinse it really good. You don't want this to smell up inside your trailer if you don't get it cleaned out really good. If you did spill any sewer, which I hope you didn't, but if you did, make sure you rinse it up really good and clean up your area. Don't leave waste. Okay, so now our sewer hose is cleaned out really good. Now this is another key. When you put your sewer hose away in your trailer, don't just put it right into your trailer. If you put it right in your trailer and you don't have it enclosed, you're still gonna get a smell inside your trailer. So we have these totes that we use. Now the accordion, we just close up the accordion. That's what's nice about these, they're thick and they enclose really small to get put away. So we put that away, close it up, and then what we're going to do, close that up and put it right in there. Now we got to make sure we put the campground back together the way we left our hose off of the campground hose. Take this off. We've got our hose, which is still good and clean, so we could use it for fresh water for the customers. Now we're gonna put the campground hose back on. Woo! You'll be able to see when your tank is full. Notice this clear end. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook our water hose up to the campground and the campground hose up to our sewer hose or up to our water hose. Let me say that again. We're gonna hook our water hose up to the faucet and we're gonna hook the sewer hose water. Oh. This is not so easy to do with a camera. We'll see how this all edits out later. 